Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can program TacoBot's arm to move up and down. But first, there's actually another real world robot in this unit that we can read about. This is LocoBot. Uh, LocoBot is a type of collaborative robot, which is also known as a cobot, that helps people around the house do chores. It was designed to operate in homes, kitchens, and office spaces to help people with daily tasks like cleaning up a simple mess, microwaving a meal, or even playing games. So some of the challenges that you'll complete in this unit uh, with using the arm uh, for TacoBot will involve picking up spilled silverware and cleaning the home by sorting trash and utensils. So let's program TacoBot's arm and the first virtual activity in the arm movement lesson. So in the first virtual activity for this lesson, we're going to program the arm to move up and down. And I'll just start by following step one, which says to drag a blue motor block to my program. Click next, and it says to set it to 80 degrees. So I'm gonna change my number in here to 80 and then switch from rotations to degrees. Step three is to add a second motor block and do the same thing. So set it to 80 degrees. And actually um, I'm going to switch the direction too. So the first direction is to spin up and then second direction is to spin down. I'm going to run the program. And let me see that again from a different angle. So the arm moves up and it moves down. If you keep scrolling on the page, you'll find a did you know about the arm linkage. Uh, so this just shows you that the arm while it sits in front of the robot is connected to the motor on the back of the robot by its linkage. Um, if you continue on the page, you'll run into a try it to make smaller movements. Uh, so this try it will um, tell you how you can program the arm to make a smaller movement. So in the first virtual activity that we just did, we programmed the arm to move all the way up. And this will teach you how you can make smaller movements with the arm. Uh, this did you know um, talks about using degrees. So this just explains why we chose to use degrees instead of rotations. And the reason is that when programming in degrees, you have more control over the motor since one rotation is equal to 360 degrees. And then finally, the last activity on this page is a try it to test out the timeout feature. Uh, Spike has an automatic timeout, which means that if you accidentally program the arm to spin to a degree that it can't possibly get to, the robot will wait two seconds before moving on to the next block in the program, rather than staying at that block forever trying to spin to a position that it can't actually get to. Uh, so then you'll get to the mini challenge of collecting spilled silverware. So after you get through the arm lesson, you'll go through this mini challenge to pick up spilled silverware. Um, and a helpful tip is to program the arm to lift up to pick up the utensil. So I can just show you what that looks like uh, in my program. So I'm going to move forward and then lift the arm up to drag the object back um, to the starting point. Uh, so the utensils have a hook on the top so that it makes it easier for the arm to lift up the utensils and drag them around. And that is the same thing that you can do in the final unit challenge of cleaning the home is you can pick up those utensils and bring them back to the utensil bin. And whenever you get to this block of cheese, 
which is considered to be the trash, uh, you would uh, put the arm down over on top of the cheese and drag it to the trash bin. So you can lift up the utensils and then put the arm over on top of the trash to drag it around. Uh, that is about it for the arm movement. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me at qa at cs2n.org. Thanks, everybody.